Korean style corn dog. I have no idea why they're called corn dogs since there's no cornmeal in them. Maybe it's just because it's a hot dog on a stick. I'm gonna show you how to make them four ways, three traditional and one at the end, which is my version. Get ready. Let's make it. Alright guys, you're going to want to start by laying down a piece of parchment paper. This just makes it a lot easier to dispose of the peels. Then you're going to want to peel your potato, get rid of the peels and the paper, slice your potato lengthwise into about a half an inch slices, then line up the slices and cut again lengthwise. Turn to the side and dice into cubes. Place your potatoes into a bowl of cold water to rinse off the starch and keep them from turning brown. Grab a baking tray and line with paper towel. Drain your potatoes and spread onto the baking tray. Grab another piece of paper towel to dry off your potato pieces. Fill up a large pot with neutral oil and heat until 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Your potatoes for three to four minutes. You're not looking to get them crispy, but just to cook through. Remove and place onto a wire rack. Let them cool completely. You can place in the freezer to quicken the process. Next, to make the batter, grab one cup of water and add two tablespoons of sugar and one tablespoon of yeast. Mix well and let sit for five minutes until foamy on top. Next, grab a long baking dish and add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour and a pinch of kosher salt. Add your yeast mixture to the dish and mix well. Add about up to a half a cup more of water until it's in loose consistency. Cover with plastic wrap and let rise for an hour. For the first style, grab your hot dog and stick your skewer all the way through. Then tap into your batter and twist, making sure you cover the whole hot dog. Use your fingers to spread the batter evenly. Then grab another dish and fill with panko breadcrumbs. Then take your battered covered hot dog and place into the panko breadcrumbs. Make sure the whole thing is covered in panko. You don't want any wet spots. Then fry in 350 degree Fahrenheit oil, holding it down and turning. Cook for about four minutes or until golden. Remove and place onto a wire rack. All right, now for the second type. Grab your ceiling mozzarella, cut into pieces six inches long, and one and a half inches wide. Again, stick your skewer through the cheese, then cover with your batter. You have to make sure that the batter completely covers the cheese or it will fall apart in the fryer. Cover with panko and fry for three to four minutes until beautifully crispy. Remove and place onto a wire rack. For the final traditional way to cut your hot dog in half, then place onto the skewer, and then cut your cheese stick in half and place on top of it. Dip into your batter and cover. Now instead of going right into the panko this time, you're going to grab a dish and fill it with your potatoes that you fried earlier, which have completely cooled. Cover your battered skewer and potatoes, squeezing so that they're stuck really well. And then back into your panko dish, making sure there's no wet spots, and then into the oil. Remove from the oil and let it drain, then place on a wire rack. While all your corn dogs are still hot, sprinkle with sugar and kosher salt, and then drizzle whichever ones you like with ketchup and mustard. All right, these are really good. Personally, I like these a lot better than regular corn dogs. The problem with these is that you either get cheese or you get hot dog, but it's never in the same bite. So now I'm gonna show you my way how to fix that. All right, so you're gonna grab two hot dogs and slice them into thirds lengthwise, and then cut those slices in half. Then turn it all to the side and dice into cubes. Grab a mozzarella stick and stick your skewer through it. Then into the batter and cover completely. Grab a dish and pour your cubed hot dogs into it. Then cover your battered skewer in the hot dog pieces. Make sure you press well so that they're very adhered to the stick. Then grab your panko dish and cover completely. Make sure there's no wet spots. Then back into your oil, frying for a few minutes, holding down and turning until golden. Merch is available now. If you want to get this exact same t-shirt, I'll leave the link in the description. All right, that's a wrap. What are you still doing? Get the hell out of here.